Today I'm going to give you maybe the most cost effective way i found to record your voice to your computer for live streaming, podcasting or even music production. Let's get into it. Welcome back guys, this is Shane. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. I review audio and video products as well as other tech gear. So today we've got a product from a company called Movo called the PC M6 podcasting microphone kit. Now this is everything that you could possibly need to get going to record your voice to the computer in any capacity or live stream if you want a microphone for that. So this pack for $39.95 seemed like a pretty good deal. Now Movo sent this out for the review. I'm yet to test this out. We're gonna do a full test and sort of analysis of this, see what it's like. I'll cover some of the specs and we'll take it from there. So if you wanna find out more about this, links will be in the description below. Let's start with an unboxing. So let's get into this. We get an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable. We also get an XLR cable or Canon to Canon, which is great that they've included both. We get a shock mount for the microphone. We get a foam windscreen. Included, we also get a USB adapter, which is great. We're gonna test this out. And we also get the microphone. Now, in terms of the microphone and my first impressions of the build quality, it reminds me very heavily of the BM800 microphone that I reviewed off Amazon quite some time ago. Now, I'm not saying it's exactly the same, it's hard to tell, but it has that kind of look about it. It also has the ring in the center, it's blue in this case, and that also moves around, but it says Movo, so they have branded it themselves. I'm not saying this is a clone of that one or a rebranding, but it looks very similar to that, at least aesthetically and just in terms of build quality. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set all of this up and show you how it sounds, but we need a microphone stand and a pop filter. So Movo included the ASM5 microphone stand. This is one of those folding boom arms with the spring. So this should definitely do the job. And we also have the PF6 microphone pop filter. So this will stop the plosives and we'll talk a little bit more about that and test out the plosives on the mic with and without this. As you can see, everything's set up and we're ready to go. Firstly, we're gonna test out this USB adapter. Being that it comes with it, you don't actually need an external sound card. You can just use this and the microphone to get it to work. It's got a headphone jack as well, so you can monitor what you're doing, or at least I hope that's what it's for. <laughs> Either that or it's just for playback, but we'll soon see. And it's also got a microphone input. So we're gonna be using this with the 3.5 millimeter jack side to the XLR going into the microphone. Now, if you've got an external sound card, you don't need this, but it's great to have it if you wanna travel light and do a podcast on the go. So to get this to work, we're gonna plug this into here. We're going to next plug in the cable to the microphone. And then we're gonna plug the microphone into the USB audio adapter. Now I've just grabbed a set of cheap AKG headphones. These are about the Least expensive ones you can find, these are the K52s. Here we go. This goes into here, plug that in. Can I hear myself? Not yet. And it comes up on my Mac as USB audio device. So I'm gonna click over to that. All right, so I just did a quick test off camera and you can't listen in real time through the adapter unless you set it in your software to monitor on. But I get a slight latency, which makes it really difficult to talk. So basically the headphones are coming off in this situation, but I'll use them for playback and you can even just plug them into your computer and listen that way. I've already noticed that the gain isn't very loud this way, but we're gonna also test it through my audio interface as well. But for this sort of price, I wouldn't assume the USB adapter is probably anywhere near as good as using an actual audio interface, which we'll test in a sec. So what you're about to hear in a moment is the audio being recorded directly to my Mac without any post-processing at the volume that it's recorded at. So here we go, get ready for this. What you're listening to right now is the Movo PC M6 Universal Cardioid Podcasting Microphone with XLR 3.5 millimeter and USB outputs, shock mount and pop filter. So that's pretty cool. We get just about everything in this pack that we need. I'm gonna go over some of the specs quickly. It says broadcast quality audio, versatile cardioid condenser microphone records at 48 kilohertz, 16 bit broadcast quality sound. Now a lot of microphones and audio interfaces will do 24 bit now, but 16 bit is more than ample, especially for live streaming and getting away with the podcast, 16 bit's gonna be fine. That's essentially what CD resolution is somewhere around that um, sort of number. It continues by saying it has low latency 
and it also features a full frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So I just had a quick listen back and what I can hear is the signal isn't that impressive. I'm getting a fair bit of white noise and overall just does, really doesn't sound that special. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my sound card and we're gonna see if it's an improvement over using the included USB audio adapter. Now given that the USB audio adapter was free, it's better than nothing. And if you're on a budget, that will definitely do the job, but we're gonna see if we can improve the sound quality of this microphone by using a sound card. What you're listening to now is the same microphone going through my Steinberg UR22MK2 audio interface and in my headphones it sounds infinitely better. So if you have any brand of sound card from Behringer, Focusrite, Steinberg or anything already that supports phantom power, this is the kind of sound quality you can get. Now I'm just going to add some post processing and I'll leave whatever I do on screen on this particular section just to show you how it sounds. I'm also going to test the microphone without the pop filter as this one isn't included with the actual pack I'm pretty sure. They sent it out as an extra but we're going to try the actual windsock and see what kind of sounds we can get. We're going to test out the proximity effect and test out a few other things regarding this microphone. So here we go. So I've just replaced the pop filter with the windsock that's provided with the microphone and I'm up nice and close and we're testing out the proximity effect. If you don't know what that is, the closer you get to a microphone, the bigger and fuller it sounds. And you also sort of eliminate a little bit more of the room sound. Now this room's not treated, my kitchen's right over there and I'm not doing any post-processing on this particular clip. So let me know what you think of the sound of this. Being that it's an inexpensive microphone pack, we should be getting some pretty great results. It sounds pretty good in my headphones, nice and close like this. Or you can turn the gain up on the sound card and sit back a little more for more of a natural sound. But I kind of like it getting up nice and close like this. This is my personal favorite trick for getting a great voice sound, but everyone likes a different type of vocal sound. Let's see how the microphone handles plosives. I've just taken off the windsock. I don't recommend using any condenser microphone without a pop filter or a windsock, so thankfully they've included one. We're going to test out the plosives, which are those P and B words that just tend to blow air into the diaphragm and kind of distort the, the sound slightly. So I can definitely hear the plosives. I would highly recommend leaving this on if you are going to use this pack. No questions about it. Up next, we're going to check out the off-axis rejection. And this microphone states that it's got good off-axis rejection because it's a cardioid polar pattern. One of the cool things about a cardioid polar pattern is if you've got someone else in the room and there's another microphone facing them, say opposite me, for example, their microphone won't pick up much of me and my microphone shouldn't be picking up much of them. So what I'm going to do now is move the microphone away from me slightly and continue to talk. So the diaphragm is still facing forwards. Then I'm just going to turn the microphone around 180 degrees and see how much of it you're going to hear. It should be picking up some of the ambience in the room, but hopefully not that much. And as I turn it back around, this is how it sounds talking forward. I'm actually going to do it one more time, show you how it sounds at about 90 degrees, 180, which is right behind the microphone. I can clearly hear that the volume dropped a lot and then all the way back around. Up next, we're going to check out the handling noise. Now, if you buy a large diaphragm condenser microphone like this, odds are you're not going to be using it in a handheld fashion, but there might be times where you just pick it up and you might be using it for something just quickly and you don't want to set up the stand and all the rest of the kind of stuff. So we're going to test out what the handling noise is like. Here we go. Yeah, it's got a bit of a hollow sound to it, but most condenser microphones do have a little bit of handling noise, but this one, I can definitely hear it. So if you are gonna be using this microphone, put it on a stand and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. My name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this particular pack from Movo. Now, in terms of the actual microphone quality, I think it sounded really good going into my audio interface and then into the computer. That's where it definitely shines. If you are on a serious budget and you don't have any gear and you want a USB microphone that will work thanks to that audio adapter that's included, you'll definitely have something to get you going. But if you want a more premium sound, you'll probably want to ditch that and get any audio interface. I'll leave some suggestions, the ones you can buy in the description below. A massive thanks to Movo for sending out this pack for the review, I really appreciate it. I try to bring you my honest opinion anytime I'm sent something which is very infrequently on the channel. They're not paying me in addition to letting me keep this stuff. Like I said, it's a super budget pack, $39.95, but I know a lot of the viewers of the channel really are into budget stuff. So I thought, why not? We'll give it a go and see how it sounds. So you can make your decision whether or not you think it's right for you. But just as a convenience pack, it's actually really, really good. I would just probably edge towards buying a sound card, just listening back again just on my computer between takes here. 
there was a huge difference between the audio going directly from the audio adapter versus into my sound card than into the computer. No comparison. So if you want the best sound, this microphone will definitely do the job, but get a Steinberg or a Focusrite or even a Behringer and you should get much better results. Thanks again for watching. If you want to find out more about this pack, links will be in the description below. Catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye.